What is going on, Bull Nation? And the search is officially over, guys. We now know how to get the Malfeasance. It is time now to make sure you guys are ready, locked, and loaded to get this weapon. One of the nicest looking exotic hand cannons in the game, and a gun that's pretty OP based on its perks. So let's go ahead and get started and tell you guys exactly what you will need to do in order to get this bad boy. So let's get started with step number one. Of course, make sure you guys get on a Gambit match and start playing it until you get an Ascendant Primeval Servitor. This Ascendant Primeval Servitor will look very similar to the voice of Raven. If you haven't seen what that looks like, it's very similar looking to the voice of Raven. As soon as he spawns in, which is a uh, primeval servitor, you're going to want to make sure you kill him because if you don't kill him and the other team kills him or the other team kills their primeval, you will not get this. So make sure it spawns and make sure you kill him. Once you kill him, you will get an exotic quest line called the Seething Heart. Once you get the quest, it will require you to go ahead and talk to Drifter. Once you talk to Drifter, he is then going to go ahead and tell you that you need to defeat 25 Taken bosses or mini bosses in the Dreaming City. This is actually pretty easy to do. All you got to do is go make sure you guys do a couple tiers and you will have this completed in no time. Once you complete that step, you are then going to be awarded a different mission called the Corrupted Mission. Now, to keep in mind, this mission is power level 580. So if you're not 580, then maybe you should get some friends that are 580 to come and help you out. I actually have a little bit of a trick on how you are able to complete this if you're not 580. If you would like to see that video, let me know in the comment section down below. After you complete the corrupted mission, you are then going to be over into step number four, which technically seems to be one of the most difficult ones, and that is deposit moats. You have to deposit a couple of moats in a game of Gambit. It's approximately about 350 moats, and you need to get five wins. So basically, the thing is, if you deposit moats and you lose the match, you will lose a little bit of score. But if you're winning and depositing and you deposit the 350 modes, you will get this completed super duper fast. And on to the last step of this quest, which is as an invader, defeat 25 opposing guardians in Gambit. There's a couple ways you could do this. You could go ahead and be an invader and defeat them. Or if someone if someone comes and invades you, if you kill them, it will also count. So there you guys have it. Once you complete these five steps, you will then be given the access to one the only to the Maleficence and there you guys have it that is how you get the most sought of hand cannon currently right now in the game let me know in the comment section down below if you got in the quest if you have how did you get it when did it drop let me know all that in the comment section down below and don't forget guys for all things destiny 2 make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel and i will catch you guys on the next video